Welcome back to the show. Lake Geneva, Wisconsin has long been a fun and active playground for Chicagoans looking for a quick getaway. Let's take a peek now at the 36 holes of golf here at Grand Geneva Resort and Spa. Up Close is brought to you by TaylorMade Golf, the number one driver in golf. In the late 1960s, Playboy's Hugh Hefner transformed this once rolling farmland into two diverse and highly acclaimed 18-hole championship layouts. Now run by the Marcus Corporation, there has been a top-to-bottom renovation covering the whole resort, and that includes extensive improvements to the Highlands course, originally designed by Pete Dye and Jack Nicklaus. Well, if you've ever played a Jack Nicklaus and Pete Dye course, they're hard. When they were young, they were really hard. And so we made it more of a resort-friendly course. We wanted people to come up and enjoy the round of golf. And so we took out some of the, the unknowns that people didn't know they were hitting into, and we made them known, if you will. And we had Bob Cup redesign it, and Bob Cup worked for Jack Nicklaus, and he did a terrific job to make it more of a resort-friendly golf course. But if you're looking for more of a challenge, the 7,000-plus yard brute more than fills the bill. It's uh, 10,000 square foot greens. It's 64 6,000 square foot bunkers throughout the whole golf course. It's wide open fairways and um, huge elevations throughout it. Water throughout, throughout many of the holes on, on the golf course and three big tee boxes to tee off on each time. Awarded the silver medal by Golf Magazine on numerous occasions, it may be tricky to find just one signature hole on either of these two entertaining tracks. Well, you'll see 10 and 11. Uh, they're both on the back nine, and then the, the third hole is, is uh, a downhill with two ponds on each side of the green. It's very beautiful. And when you get to the 12th hole onto the green, you can see all of the property from up there. It's quite the sight. Uh, starting on the Brute, probably hole number 18 coming up uh, along the, uh, the hotel with the waterfalls. Um, I like hole number nine on the Highlands. It's, it's a beautiful, a tough par four, but a great hole. Um, 17 is a, is a very picturesque hole. It's one that you actually drive by when you come in the resort. Um, the tee shot has water all down the right side, and then it's just it's a beautiful hole. There's, there's, there's so many, I could keep talking about them all. You'll get up close and personal with nature throughout this eco-friendly property. Plus, there's the legend of the old Playboy Club that can still be felt here at Grand Geneva. Um, actually, we did some golf shows at the beginning of the year this year, and I, every other person that walked up said, oh yeah, it's the old Playboy Club, and the history here is just amazing, and it's, uh, I'm starting to learn more about it every day. Well, you know, there's still the bunny hutch. That was uh, where all the bunnies stayed on the second hole of the brute, so every time I drive by there, I have to uh, go back in time, so to speak. <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of people who do. <laughs> I'm sure there are. <laughs> we guarantee you'll have a grand time playing at Grand Geneva. Get your golf fix in with their sizzling Sundays. You can play both the Highlands and the Brute with a cart for just $119. We put a lot on the golf, on the golf experience. We want them, uh, this course to be so well manicured that people, when they play our course, they're not only captured by the, the beauty of the course, but by the beauty of the surroundings around the course. And that means that the, the, the greens and the fairways and the roughs, those are all well maintained, but that's the given. We want to have flowers that are out there planted throughout the place. We want to have objects of art that we have out on the golf course there. We want to make, make sure that everything's trimmed properly around the area, and, and I think our Grounds department does an incredible job with that. Incredible indeed.